Hi guys, welcome to Super Met. So I've got something a bit exciting for you today. I am with a monster scooter and it's sitting in front of me. Very excited. I've literally driven it 50 feet, 100 feet. It is the fastest thing I've ever ridden. I mean, this knocks spots off obviously what I'm used to, which is the Zero 10X. Um, this is, well, have a look. Welcome to the NAMI Burn E. Check this beast out. Look at it. There's a few things I would change on here immediately, but there's a few things I love. I mean, look at the carbon fiber. It is huge. Suspension fully adjustable front and back. It's got a horn you can see down here underneath. Big old battery pack underneath. Twin motors. Adjustable suspension at the back and at the front. Nut brakes, which I am not so keen on. I think it should have Magoras, but there's a massive supply issue at the moment. Um, proper display. It's the first time you know we're seeing sort of bike style display, which is great. Um, you've got your settings button over here. You've got proper indicators. Um, you've got headlight, you've got your horn, um, thumb throttle, um, which okay, I think feels a bit cheap, but I think this will be a change somebody makes. Basically 3,900 pounds, but what a machine. It's an absolute monster. Absolutely love it. So we're gonna get it out. We're gonna have a good old ride around and we'll take it from there. Can you see how high it is? I mean, look at it compared to my Tesla. If I come down, same height, look at the height. It is big, really big. I can see him disappearing through the fence. Wow, suspension feels good already. Okay, so I'm doing any speed. I've got a GPS meter on, so we should be able to find out exactly how quickly we're going. We're following Bob from PPT. It feels good, it feels comfy. There we go. Okay, we're going on the normal route that we take. There's a few people down here. It's comfortable. Suspension's nice. Handles well into the corners as well. Let's go for a bit of an overtake. Yeah, it feels good. Wow, power. Okay, so I'm in sport mode at the moment. On that corner, I've got the throttle down as if I would on the Zero 10. The front wheel starts to spin. I mean, it's it's fast. Just to check it's really okay. Yeah, suspension's good. A bit of wobble there, in fact. Okay, now we're going to go a slightly different route, I believe. So, okay, we're going in here. Let's check this out. Yeah, and you park. Volvo is found somewhere that I can um, Yeah, it's cool. Brilliant. This is really good. I've even got hills. So cool.
And so Rob is on the V-Set 10 Plus. And there he goes, see him? Okay, let's get this beast, this thing is heavy. Okay, let's go up here. Look at this, no problem. What's just wheel spinning the whole way. So cool. Works really well, okay. Brakes don't feel that inspiring. Okay. Now I'm. Yeah, brakes don't feel that good. Okay, so let's go over here. It's a bumpy old road here. Let's see how it does. Five miles now, it feels fine. So I'm gonna scare these people. We've got better to deal with them. Oh. And see how she feels, yeah? Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm cruising along at about 30 now. I'm in the slowest boat at the moment, I'm doing about 32. It's absolutely fine. Suspicion's okay. That's about 28 miles an hour. No issue whatsoever. So let's go down, let's go over here. And then let's pull in and let's change. The settings. Let's change them. So we're going to go to S, E, X. I don't know what X is. I think, I don't know. We need to find out. So let's try it in S. So this is the fastest mode at the moment. Okay, we'll go down here. Ready? Let's go. Wow, well, yeah, that's fast. So I, I was at 27 and a bit already. Let's see. That's Yes, she's fast. Okay, let's go over here. Take it easy. People on bikes and walking. Just got to be careful, people. Where should we go? Should we go up here? Why not? Let's have a look up there. Don't know what is around here. Very comfy. The steering wheel's got no wobble. I think a damper would help. Brakes, not so keen on the brakes. But they could be rectified. Let's take a speed bump. Whoa, yeah, it's okay. But you do get that bit of wobble on the steering, so I'm not as keen on the steering wheel. I like the display, except you can't see it when the sunlight hits it. It feels quick. Okay, let's go again. Yeah. 
I mean, that was nearly 30 in it. She gets a really fair lick on when she wants to go. Yeah, I mean, that was, I think, 35, and it was uh, stable as anything. I do like that. It feels really quite good when you're going to do something and when you're going to go. There's that car. You can feel the torque immediately. You put the power on, and, and away you go. I do like having a thumb throttle. It's amazing how fast you can catch up on cars in this. It's just got so much warmth behind it, it picks up and pulls you forward. Okay, let's have a look around it, guys. So, mineral oil nut brakes, they're hydraulic up front. Carbon stem, which is also metal on the inside with tubing to keep it rigid and sturdy. Um, nut brakes front and back, 160 mil rotors. Two motors, one at the back, one at the front. Motorcycle style kickstand. I mean, this is, you can see, it is so solid. To lift it, you have to really push hard. It's got a proper peg on it, like on a motorcycle. Push that down. Oh, you can hear it click into place. It's just solid. This is the first scooter that I have seen that feels this heavy, this solid, um, and this stable. I mean, it's really exceptional. Um, the bar is high. I mean, you can see how tall this is when I'm holding onto it. Um, I'm 181 centimeters in height, so what, five foot 11. If I stand up on it, it's big. It's really big. Suspension feels good. Let's take that stand up. You can see it's got a lot of, lot of give. Construction is solid. Oh, you can hear that thing go down. It's a monster. Okay, you've got twin charging ports just here. I like they're put higher because if there was any moisture or you were charging it somewhere, the rain falls down, doesn't actually um, sit on top of the deck. I find on the others, like the V-sets, things like that, if they're here, they can get damaged quite easily. You can put your feet on them, you can snap them off. It is a shame these are plastic. It's one of those things, not the end of the world. Um, twin rapid chargers, obviously it's got a huge battery involved as well. Um, you've got pneumatic tyres front and back, so you can pump them up, standard Schrader valves. Uh, um, suspension on it is fully adjustable, so you've just got a little turner section here, and one on the front, so you can set it to soft or hard, depending on your riding style and where you're riding. Bumpers are made from, I don't know, funny material. Feels like PU rim. Not my favourite, I think I would change those over. I don't like this metal work, but again, it's solid, it's strong, it's got an industrial weight to it, feels good. Turning circle is fine, um, it is heavy, so you find it wants to lean a little bit more, but that's not an issue. The computer I do like, but you can't read it in sunlight, that's the only issue. So that is a bit of a problem. Um, it shows your miles an hour quite clearly, until you hit sun, then you can't see it any longer. It is full color display, so there is um, sort of br um, blue, green, and I can't remember the colors, let's turn it back on. White, green, and a bit of blue. It tells you what you want to know. So you've got speed, you've got the trip mileage, so 12.1 miles, so I've now done three miles on it, and no issues. I settled into it in, in a matter of a few, few hundred feet. It feels very familiar with these these uh, brakes and with these different settings. I do like the feature of the, uh, if that's working, the indicators down the side, I think that's a great feature. Um, you just basically push it once and push it again to turn it off. It's a shame it just doesn't cancel after 10 seconds so that you can do it like in a car where you can just flick the stalk down and it gives you three flashes. That would be quite useful. Um, and then maybe a longer press to give you a longer indication, but who knows? Headlight up here and then also the horn here, which I won't do because there's somebody walking down and I don't want to scare them. Except for that, it's, it's a beautiful piece of kit. Really, really nice and I'm, I'm seriously impressed with it. The actual stem is unlocked in this particular way. So this lever you pull out, you loosen it just like you would any normal stem clamp. But then there's divots in this section here. This whole item you can see rotates. So you rotate it all the way up to the top, 
and it lifts. When it lifts, you can then lift the whole stem and then you can put it down onto the deck. Now, there's a couple of things here with this. This computer on top of the deck is the first thing that actually hits the back of your footrest. Now, that would worry me. That's gonna be expensive. So you're not gonna be folding this down very often. This is a beast scooter. This isn't a commuter scooter. Um, there is no way to lock it in this particular in this particular way, so you're always gonna to need to leave it up. To put it back in, very simply, exactly the same. There's a pin inside here which locates itself. You put it down, you rotate this locking collar, and you do it as tight as you can. Just put feet around it with my race car shoes. Not the best thing to be wearing, because they're, they're getting oily. Then adjust the side of a clamp, like so, and then you're just gonna do the lever up, and we're done. That is the main basis of this scooter. Let's go, let's get going. It's 33, a 40, I guess a bit bumping down here, this is the only problem I hope this guy isn't going such a idiot time or something. I can see you there. They just did it anyway. Let's go again. I mean at 30 miles now she is utterly comfortable. I just need a longer bit of road and I haven't got it. Let's have a look here. Hopefully it's making hair. Let's open it right now. So that's 40. You can hear those brakes working. Thank you. Get in there, so. Okay, it's open. Okay. It really, really gets quick. Okay, I think we let's go across here. And cycle away. Let's open that up there. Oh, I keep running out of road. Okay, now this is. We're on a cycle lane. I don't really want to go down here, but let's just see where it's like. Let's have a go. So again, that's your 40 miles now. I think it needs to be unlocked slightly to get it up to its 60. Okay, let's cross this row and let's get it up onto here. There we go again. And all's well. Okay, and let's get it back now. And uh, let's get it over to the shop. So this is where PAT is based. 